morning, everybody. Uh, welcome to your morning routine, what I like to call our PASS training, okay? Um, which basically means uh, point accumulation status sheet training. But uh, So what we want to do with this today is uh, this is our morning routine. We've been talking about this a little bit. But every, not every morning, but at least one time a week, really. We want to do it two or three times a week. Um, if you want to do it every morning for five uh, days in a row, that's really good too. Um, just create some kind of weekly routine that you do. Um, if you make it daily, like first five days, it's a little bit easier to make it more of a routine, of course, because it becomes a habit. But um, so what we're going to do today, start out with just first the beginning of life, okay, um, which is breathing. Okay, so as we breathe, we're going to focus on breathing. This is what we want to start off um, in the morning with. Uh, we're going to uh, breathe, and then I also, if you're outside, you can look at the beauty of, you know, the outside. Um, but if you're inside, you can focus on what you're grateful for. Okay, and that'll help your mind tune in. Because uh, the more pos positive stimuli you can have, in your thinking, the better uh, that it's going to help your body. Your body going to benefit better, greater from that. Okay, so we want to start here. We've got some loud birds, don't we? We got a bird house right up there. That's why they're doing that. Um, so from right here, we're just going to breathe. So I want you to in through your nose, out through your mouth. Nice and slow. Probably about three breaths like that. I'm going to show you from the side. So you breathe in. You can expand here and then expand down in your diaphragm. So you get the air here, air down here, and then it all it goes out like that. I don't know if you guys can see it, but you do it like so, okay? Alright, now, some exercises that we do once we've been breathing, uh, probably take maybe about five breaths if you're not used to it, three to five if you're not used to it at first. And then as you're doing your techniques, we're going to start off with a little Qigong this morning which just basically is a, what the Chinese call a, a exercise to help develop qi flowing through your body, which qi for uh, the Japanese term, uh, and I mean, I'm sorry, Chinese term, Japanese is qi. Uh, Chinese term means the energy that flows through your body, just the life kind of force energy that is uh, transmitted in different ways in your body. That's all that really means. It's not anything, you know, um, spooky or anything like that. Uh, they're just talking about the life energy that transforms into different types of energy when you, when you push. It's different than your life force energy, which we call our spirit, actually, but the moving energy in your body. Okay, so from right here, we're going to bring our hands up, press to the ceiling. When you press up, I want you to breathe out. And then when you bring your hands down, I want you to breathe in. Nice and slow. From here. Breathe in. Good. Probably about three times.
And again, these are just a couple of exercises. I'm only going to do three, and then we're going to do. I'm all, I want to break down our uh, Tai Chi so that you guys can have a slow exercise routine this morning. Now that's how you start. Now what I want to do after you've done a couple of those, we also want to do some. We'll do one more. This is what I meant by three. But we'll do one more. We're going to do the down. Uh, now notice in this one now I'm using my legs, so I'm bending my knees here, right? So I'm here, bending my knees. Okay, now. And breathing out. Round. Nice, smooth, slow squat. You're trying to go lower each time. Okay, just as low as you can, your body will let you go in the morning. Just bending. If, if your legs are too close together, you want to maybe bring them apart a little bit more, that's perfectly fine. If they feel like it's better to bring them apart. If they're too far apart, you feel like you can't squat properly, then bring them closer. When you do this squat also, as you do it, uh, your mindset's very, very important. You don't want to be thinking about a bunch of things you really want to kind of enjoy. But just as a point of reference, you want to, uh, wherever you put your legs here, when you're squatting forward, I mean, when you're squatting with a shorter stand, it's okay for your body to slant at an angle. You want to try and stay a little straight, but it's okay for it to slant when your legs are close together. When they're further apart, not to slant, but you can get a little more. It's, it's just fine. There's nothing wrong with that. You don't have to have straight back. That. Okay. So as you come down, like that. Nice and easy. Do about four or five of those, something like that. And again, this is a guide. This is not, you have to do this, 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 and this. Remember, this is just the guide. You can pick whatever you want to put in as far as the movements. So I'm showing you a few movements. I'm only showing you like three, maybe four movements. Um, but you can pick the different movements. And you only want to do, really, you can do one, you can do two, or you can do three movements within your routine. Okay, as far as start off movements. This is the beginning of it. Okay. And now, I want to go to just getting the body. This is what I call oiling the joints. So we're lubricating the joints when we move like this. First, typically you want to try to go head to toe. Start with your head and then gradually go down. So now I'm going to do shoulders. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me do neck first. Sorry. I say head. This is neck because you can't stretch your head. So this is neck, side to side, you can do those two. You don't have to do necessarily both of them, but that's something you can do. You can slow it down, that's important in the morning. Don't, don't do that. Slow it down, nice and slow. We're just trying to lubricate joints. Oil those sinews. Shoulders. Forward and backward five, six times, it's, I find it best not to count because what you want to do is think about um, so basically be in a state, in a mindset of being grateful, of being in awe, of enjoying what you're doing, of thinking about, you can also do this, think about the, what, will, what this will achieve, the goal that this will achieve in your body. That's a good one too, okay? So think about the benefits of what you're doing, that's really important because it helps your body develop better when you think and you visualize the benefits. Here, stretch the arms out. Now we're going to just go tree trunk twists. So we did shoulders. And again, you can do arm circles and stuff like that for the shoulders. You can come across like that. That's, we're not going to do that right now. We're going to do uh, trunk twists, though, which are also involving the shoulders. So real simple. Going across. Lifting the trunk. You can do 
it as slow as as fast as you want to. It doesn't have to be this fast. I'm kind of doing it fast. But you can slow it down. It's probably gonna feel better slow, especially if you're over 35 in the morning. Okay, so we did trunk now. I like to do these also, so this is also going across like this. Just to get it stretched. Now we're gonna go down to hips. So we're gonna circle the hips. Okay. There's a few things you can do on the hips. Mainly what, to keep it simple, because this is what we call our beginner uh, morning training. You can go hip circles and you can do side to side hip side to side too. You can also do this, but that's trunk more than hip. Okay. And so, circling it probably about five or six times. Again, uh, the counting of how many times you do, I don't want you to be focused on the counting. I want you to be thinking about how it feels in your body. What's loosening up? What parts are starting to feel a little bit better as you move, okay? That's most important, actually. Okay, then you're going to put your feet together. We're going to do the knees, so we're just going to press uh, shallowly, not super deep, one side or the other, nice little angle. Alright, just do that a few times, so it's whatever, like I said, don't count it. Then circle. what's going on. If you're popping, uh, you might need to get more rest and more drinks. <laughs> Take your vitamins. Okay, and then you can do ankle too. I'm not going to do ankle in this video. Um, you guys know, most of you guys know what we do for ankle exercise. Uh, exercises. Okay. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to break down some of the, you can still do push-ups in the morning um, if you just do a few, okay? So you can do like, have sets, because when you wake up in the morning, your, your muscles aren't warm, they're not ready to go, especially if you're older, okay? When you're younger, when you're in your 20s and below, it doesn't matter, you can knock off some push-ups, you know, you do 10, 15, 20 right off the bat, right? But, um or if you've been doing it for a while, okay? Um, but when you're older, it's best to do maybe one or two rest, right? And then do three or four rest, and do one or, one or two rest, and then maybe do one. Something like that where you're stair-stepping and then coming back down with a small amount, okay? Something that you can do, okay? So. That's something you can do as far as push-ups. Again, you can do modified push-ups. Modified is when you do your knees, like so, back is straight, and you're going to do your modified push-up, right? Like so, okay? So you can do like two or three of those, and then rest, or change, go to something else, right? Go to your legs, maybe do some slow squats. Right? Something different than your arms, and then switch back and go back and do maybe five this time, something like that, and then do right for six. Okay? And then go back down, right? So now you do maybe a knee raise. And I'm saying maybe because I want you guys to choose how you do this. Even though we're kind of calling this a routine, we don't want it to be exactly the same every time. Okay, because your body will plateau. You want to change. So your body has the adequate enough amount of positive stretch, stress so that it can um, actually go beyond where it normally goes. So you won't plateau, that's what I'm saying. So, 
And then after you maybe same thing, other leg. Same thing. Back up, and then you can do some leg raises. Alright, nice and easy. It is the morning. I'm doing them high, but you guys can do them lower. Nice and easy is the key, okay? Don't do the workout. Don't do that. Do it nice and easy. If you feel a little bit better, you feel like you can go higher, yes. Push it up a little bit. Hey, notice I said a little bit. As you go, nice and smooth. Now, for me, this is easy but depending on where your flexibility is you want to bring it to where your flexibility is don't force it drive it but don't force it that makes sense force is like <laughs> yank don't yank okay. you can drive it up but don't force it up okay other side Oop, that's where it's at right leg's a little less flexible i can feel it pulling right now Ooh, that's hamstring. I can feel all that. So I'm going to keep it low on this side. My right has not been woken up today. When I, anytime I'm stretching and I feel the stretch, I always breathe. Because what that does is it oxygenates the blood, oxygenates the blood, causes uh, you to be able to, the muscles to get more blood so that stretching can occur easier okay in the parts of the body to get more blood all right and then after that we can finish with one that way you spread it out you want to do this in the morning where you're spreading out if you're doing a little bit heavier muscular exercises spread out in the morning time at night time you can knock them out you know but in the morning, if you want to do that, you spread it out. Okay, so a couple of things as far as Tai Chi is concerned, or our Dai Chi, what we call it is Dai Chi in, in UTMA. Um, so a couple of techniques that you can practice uh, that come from our Dai Chi. We've actually done one of them already. Um, but you can practice from here. You're stepping, okay, your Tai Chi step, right? So this goes like this. Hopefully you guys can see my feet. But you're going to bring your foot up here like so. Touch with your toe. Step out with your heel. Okay, and you're going to go heel, ball, and bend. That makes sense? So you, when you step out, I'm going to face you guys so you can see. When you step out, you step at an angle. It's basically a 45. Okay, so you bring your foot up. Notice my feet are parallel. We call this open parallel. Okay, this is closed parallel. This is open parallel. So from right here, you're going to bring your feet up. And you can bring them closed parallel too. You don't have to leave them open parallel. I personally like closed parallel a little bit better, especially in the beginning starting off, because the more you keep your body in the center, the more that balance you're going to have. Okay, so you come here, and you're going to step out to that 45 with my heel. And then I'm going to lean, shift my body weight as I put the ball part of my foot down. Okay? So this is the step. This is the Tai Chi step. So you come here. Out. Notice I'm doing a short step. Okay? You can also do a long step, but I don't want you guys to do that right now. Focus on the short step. Go here. with the toe, step out with the heel, and then and I'll do it facing you guys a little bit. Might look long with me doing it because 
I have long legs, so the proportions look a little different. Okay, so from here, that's your step. Uh, next one I want to do, and that's something you can just practice back and forth. You can also act, uh, um, activate or do your, what they call a parent close up, which is basically a push, a type of a push. So you come here, bring your hands in here like this, and step out, and press. Notice the press and the bend of my foot is happening at the same time. And I bring my hands back, touch, step out, So that's a really good um, technique that you can use. When you do the press, I'm purposely bending my arms. You don't want to straighten your arms when you do the press, okay? You'll, your body will lose uh, what you're trying to accomplish with this, okay? Which part of it is to stay heavy and relax. So if you come here and you go, you've lost all your heaviness. Does that make sense? So you've got to stay relaxed so your body stays naturally heavier and um, all your weight goes into the ground properly and none of it goes out that way necessarily okay um, and if you guys want me to explain that I'll explain that later because that can get a little complex in the in the beginning in the end it won't be complex because there's all these things that you'll know okay so uh, that's basically that push or they call it a parent uh, close-up all right, next one we're going to do is uh, I want to do our um, strumming the loop. Okay, this is really simple. We just start here like this and do it from the side. Over here. And again. This is probably the easiest one. about fluidity of the hand movement. Okay. You don't want to notice as I come, my elbow stays mostly the same, and I bend it out, and then I drop it. Okay. So I don't, what I don't want to do is move this hand back, move this hand forward. I want these hands to be right in line as they cross, so they cross each other here. That is loop strumming the loop. Also, one more uh, key thing. When you're doing this, focus on dropping your shoulders. You don't want your shoulders like this when you're doing it. Okay, very bad. You, you want to drop them. Really, that with all the types of techniques. You want to drop the shoulders. Okay, naturally. Let them be naturally relaxed down and not up. Same thing with parent close-up. Shoulders down, not here. Relax. Down. Okay? Alright, so we'll do one more. We already did this in the beginning of the uh, video. But this is scooping the water and let it run, run through your hand. Okay? So monkey scoops for a drink. Basically. So you're coming down. Scooping. Coming here. It's like washing your face. Just don't touch your face. <laughs> so we're here. We're scooping down and coming up and coming here. Just like so. That's the whole movement, just like that. So you're going to bring your hands up, then bring them around to the side, bend your knee, scoop low. Up, and bring it back down, just like that. Okay, so those are some basic uh, Tai Chi uh, techniques that you can use in the morning with your training. So this is a basic regimen that you can do. Um, again, you want to make it a routine, as in 
every three days, every two days, but you don't want to make you don't want to do the exact same thing every single time. Okay, you want to be able to change it up each time. Okay, whether instead of doing push-ups, you do crunches or you know stuff like that. Instead of doing maybe you do this one and you do this one and then you do crunches and that's your morning routine basically. What with leg raises or something like that. Okay, or maybe you do, um, uh, instead of crunches, maybe you do push-ups, and then you do, and you vary those in between your um, squats uh, and uh, leg raises or something like that. And then you do a little bit of the Qigong moves or the Tai Chi form or moves. We also have our Tai Chi form, I'm not gonna do it today, but we have our Tai Chi form online um, on our YouTube page if you guys want to see the Tai Chi form, okay? All right, so um, that's pretty much it for the morning routine. Um, I wanted to give you guys some options that you could do when you're trying, when you're doing your morning routine. Uh, again, you don't have to do all that. I was just giving you some options, and so you can pick one out of each thing that we did and kind of construct it yourself, if that makes sense. For me, I think that's fun to do and it keeps it more alive. Uh, it doesn't make it, it keeps it from being, from stagnating basically. So that's what you want. You want it not to stagnate, you want it to stay alive or to be like excited about, okay, what am I gonna do today? Okay, that's what you really wanna do. All right, thanks for watching guys. Uh, don't forget to click the um, like button and subscribe if you have not subscribed to our YouTube page. And uh, we'll see you guys soon. Hopefully after all this uh, social distancing goes away, we'll see you guys soon.